There is a reason I wanted the uh, stream to start before the intro started, and that's because people wave. And yes, uh, this is Black Paradox, not Black Plateau, like I said, and whoa! That shouldn't have happened! Thank you! <laughs> um, hopefully the volume should be fine for everybody. Black Paradox is, uh, a, uh, proc gen, uh, oh! Shit! Screen is not showing! No! No! Oh no! I did the thing! Technical difficulties, folks! Let me restart! Um... Crap. Well, somebody's editing... No, nobody's editing. Vaporwave! Yes! Eighties, so car is DeLorean. Sh shooty thing is DeLorean. Yes. And that's a very interesting bug where the game will automatically resize to the highest resolution. <laughs> so anyway, hi, I'm Jamie the D, the Mad Welshman. This is Black Paradox. It is a vaporwave proc gen shooty thing, and we're just gonna get right into it. <laughs> and it did it again! What? Video settings, why? Rockets! Yes! Yes, we're off to a strong start. Now I could switch my gun, but that's boring. And the Black Paradox is basically a second ship with a different weapon loadout. There we go. Um. So, at the end of every run, you can power up the car by buying chips. Um, and we teleport between zones in our Space DeLorean. We have seven bosses. Oh, that's a nice pattern. I like that pattern. Didn't manage to kill everything, but, you know. Um, Asteroids can sometimes kill enemies, and sometimes we can get an asteroid field. Well! Uh, these little things are health power-ups. Oh, screen splitting laser. Ah, uh, there we go. I'm at home now. I've got the lasers. Ah! Ah! 
ta 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 Is that doing that every time? Or is that... Yeah, I'm dropping off the bottom of the screen because the resolution keeps... That is a really weird bug! Why does that happen? Oh dear. I wasn't keeping an eye on my health. Um, well, anyway, let's go back to the garage and buy something. Uh, 3% chance to shoot backwards? I want. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's retry and hopefully it won't randomly re- Why? Why? I'm so sorry, folks. That is the weirdest bug. Oh, oh, oh. That was some kind of stat power up. Not sure what kind. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, okay. High spread, low damage. I appreciate this. Please don't do that resize bug on me again. I am really confused by, oh dear. Uh, so there are no health power-ups. I, I just want that out there. When you die, you die, that's it. Uh, the only way to regain health is to win a level. Oh, wait, no, there are health power-ups. Um, it's just they're not dropping. I showed a health power-up earlier. Why was I... <laughs> and now screen splitting lasers. Lovely. Okay, boss time. No! Not even a thousand. Right. Uh. <sighs> Fashion! Fashion! Anyway, things I like. These shot patterns are really cool. The music is vaporwave. The aesthetic is homage to 80s. I'm not actually going to say 80s because no. Um, even the rockets will occasionally fire things. And the boomerang. Well, weapons, I mean, look at this. This is a thing of beauty. <sighs> Unfortunate, oh. Yes. 
Right, and then, yes, of course. <sighs> See, I knew you would get the sass in for this half. There we go. I'm just getting in the groove, alright? Now the corrosive shot is interesting because it's a damage over time with an AoE on death. Like, say what you like. There's some really interesting effects here, and obviously I am saving that for a damn it, damn it, damn it. I will do an hour of this. I will! <laughs> Bugs, death, I don't care. I'm doing this. <laughs> nice job, enemies. Nice fucking job! Uh, on the one hand, they don't really need to work hard to kill me, but vice versa in asteroid fields. And it's boomerang time again! Yes! So good. Okay, all the health power ups. So we may not actually see all that much of the Insane Brothers' pack. Um, and not just because I keep running into single shots. Oh, that's homing. Um... Yeah, let's buy that. Now, the thing is, we do have storage for shots. Uh, nine. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.
<sighs> but you need to die. Whoa! Whoa, 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 Panic. I shouldn't... I shouldn't be pissed off every time that happens. I shouldn't. But I am. Well, that was a useful homing missile. I'm really glad I got that homing missile. That homing missile was well purchased. Uh. Yeah, no, we're using the gun for now. liking this. I'm not liking that, but I'm liking the game overall. <sighs> okay, let's see what new way we can go splat and what new way we can find to splat people. you are, you're very dead. And you are a power-up ship, so we kill the hell out of you. Oh! Oh! Oh, hi there! Oh, hi there, first directional weapon of the game! their first pretty powerful first directional weapon of the game. Goodness me. Okay. Ha 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 ha
Oh no! Oh no, we're in for this again. No, we're not. Not for long. <laughs> uh, fine, fine. Options time again. Uh. Okay. That's better. That's more like my speed. So, yeah, I'm loving the shot effects. The shot effects in this game, like, there, there's a lot of variety to these. Spirals and dick moves. This is the good shit. I do keep dying to the boss. I am getting to the boss. But yeah, there there is a lot that's interesting about this. Like environmental kills, shot effects, um commitment to aesthetic. enemy designs. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff here. And the flamethrower! On the one hand, does shit tons of damage. On the other, requires that you are somewhat more close than you maybe would like to be. Actually, I seem to be doing much better war flamming than anywhere else. Very nice. Of course, then we've got the boss who, uh... ...has a charge, which we definitely don't want to be hit by. Oh my god! As it turns out, the secret was flamethrowers. 
and there we go. We've made it to the next stage. I did like the description of the blade drone, by the way. It's like putting a... It's like putting knives on a Roomba. <laughs> Yes, it would be! <laughs> well done! Hey, only five. Anyway. Here's a decidedly rural spaceman. Who throws lots of dynamite. I wasn't sure he was going to do that. Um... Ah, uh, half an hour's fine. Um, because, of course, Black Paradox, uh, individual runs are pretty short. Especially if you keep running in bullets. But there's a lot of variety, there's a good aesthetic. Uh, it is fun as hell, and I've been having a really good time with it. It is out of early access. It is... Uh, I think about 12 quid right now. Let me double check. Yeah, 11.39. Uh, so, yeah, uh, thank you everybody for hanging out. Uh, if you like the streams, if you like the reviews over at themadwelshman.co.uk, if you like my art, then please donate to the Patreon or just spread the word. And uh, yeah, hopefully they will fix that resizing bug. I... I don't even know how that happens. Ha ha this has been Jamie the D, the Mad Welshman. I'll see you around. <laughs>